We are in Savannah, Georgia, and we are working on The Exorcist. We pick up the story of Victor and his daughter, Angela. Hey, be home by dinner. I love you. Good morning, Mr. Fielding. Angela and Catherine have been friends. What are you and Catherine doing out there in those woods? We were just walking and walking. Victor's put church and faith behind him. Dad? And exposes Victor to other ways to look at the world. It's about different people of different beliefs and religions coming together. Wherever those girls went, they brought something back with them. No! No! You think they've gotten possessed by the devil? The body and the blood! Rally around a story, really, that's about the power of love. In the face of spiritual obstacles, emotional obstacles, all those things. Exorcism is a ritual. Every culture, every religion, they all use different methods. It's going to take all of them. You would look to ancestors, you would look to spirits for guidance. Out of sometimes deep despair, the ability to build something that is life-affirming, life-giving, and pass it down. <laughs> if you don't make it, I don't make it. In this moment, it is about the love of a father and a daughter. To see ourselves in this scenario is a huge thing. It's going to open the story up. It's a way to bring it into the present. And that's why representation is so important. One girl lives, one girl dies. Spirituality is a part of everything we do. Whether you believe or not believe, there's something bigger than us. The truth and humanity and desperation, those relatable emotions. God played 